Hey, what's up, randomers? Today, I am going to be teaching you how to do this cool right on effect. If you'd like to learn more about photography and video related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, let's get into it. Open up Premiere Pro, then import your clip into Premiere Pro, then drop it into your timeline. Then let's go to create a new title. That's file, then new, then legacy title. Then let's name it Kenya. Then you can change our font to gloss and bloom, which I've put in the link in the description below for you to download because I like the look of it. Then let me increase the font size so that you can see it more clearly. Let's increase the kerning between the letters to make it more visually attractive for the effect. To be able to make our work easier later, we can change the color of the text to something really bright, then we'll revert it at the end. So I'm gonna be changing it to something that's a little bit of light, uh, bright green. Then drag the text to the timeline on top of your clip. Create a new transparent video, then drag it and place it above your title. Then go to the effects and search for right on then apply it to your transparent video. Then go to the effect controls and change the brush size to let's say around 31. And the stroke this length should be how long you want this effect to last for. So I'll go with around let's say seven seconds. Then change the brush spacing to 0.01. If the white dot is smaller than your text, just adjust the size of your brush size in your effect controls to be larger than the text. Go to the beginning of the clip and click on right on on the effect controls. Then click on the toggle animation button. Then drag this to the starting point of where I'd like your animation to begin. So now all we need to do is trace on top of the text by hitting the next frame key and dragging to trace on top until all the text is covered. After that, go to the effects and search for track mat. Then you'll see track mat key and then drag it to the title sequence. And on effect controls on the track mat, select video three, which is a transparent video sequence and then the covering will disappear. And just like that, you have the right one effect. You can change the color of your title to your preferred color and it's good to go. That's pretty much it on how to do this right on effect. Very easy, very simple. Make sure to use it to spice up your videos and comment below to tell me how it worked out for you. And as always, if you'd like to learn more about photography and video related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you later, randomers.